Hello, good morning, everyone. Today, my topic of presentation is neuropl neuroplasticity. It is defined as uh, uh, neural plasticity or brain plasticity, which is the dynamic pro adaptive process by which nervous system changes its activity in response to external or internal stimuli by recognizing its structures reorganizing its structures, functions or connections. Uh, plasticity uh, which is derived from Latin word plasticus or uh, mobile. Uh, the Kazel in 1984 defined neurons as unit of nervous system and Tanji uh, uh, coined the term neurotropism or neuroplasticity. Uh, the examples of neuroplasticity are uh, axonal uh, sprouting, uh, in which the healthy axons can uh, sprout uh, a new branch in order to form a new connections, uh, strengthen existing synapse or repair damaged synapses. Here we can see uh, the, uh, the axons are uh, sprouting to form its connections with the uh, same, axon, uh, same, uh, same uh, neurons or with the other neurons. Then here in this figure we can see the dendritic uh, plasticity, uh, then neuromuscular plasticity at the level of neuromuscular junctions, glial plasticity in which the glia are proliferating, uh, then synaptic plasticity with long term potentiations and uh, uh, long term short term di uh, difference, uh, dif depressions uh, which will be discussed in the subsequent slides. Then this uh, synaptic rewiring, uh, stabilization, reroutings, and uh, sproutings discussed in subsequent slides. The synaptic ruining or and the neuronal plasticity rerouting is the uh, the formation of new connections which is made between the active neurons to create a alternate neuronal pathway. Uh, thus, we can see uh, here these uh, new connections are formed uh, with the neurons uh, to form an alternate pathway. Then, as protein is the new axons or dendritic extensions allowing existing neurons to form new connections. Then, neuroplasticity uh, can be at the level of molecular level with signal uh, pathway genes transcriptions or protein synthesis that is called as functional plasticity then at the level of cellular levels with neuronal uh, uh, neuronal levels with neurogenesis with having proliferations differentiations migration and maturations dendritic levels with dendrogenesis with dendritic spines morphologies and uh, 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 its densities then at the level of synaptic uh, we have the long term potentiations and long term depressions. Uh, there are uh, different types of neuroplasticity. First is the structural neuroplasticity uh, in which the ability of brain to physically change brain structures due to learning and experience. Uh, example include when a person learns a new skills or language, new neuronal connections are formed in the brain. That is called as a structural plasticity. Then functional neuroplasticity in which synaptic knee remodeling following brain dysfunctions or injuries. In this case, new neurons form synaptic connections over time to recover lost function. For example, musicians have found to have increased brain activity in area associated with music perceptions and productions. It is called as functional neuroplasticity uh, and it is due to extensive training and experience. Then synaptic neuroplasticity uh, which is at the level of synapse in this change in the strength of synaptic connections between the neurons this type of neuroplasticity is formed uh, is, uh, is responsible for learning and memory. When a neurons fire, it releases neurotransmitters into the synapse, which binds to the receptors on the receiving neuron. If this post process is repeated frequently, the strength of synaptic connections between the two neurons increases. That is called as long-term potentiation. Uh, 
on the other hand if the process is repeated less frequently or not at all the strength of synaptic connections is weakened and that is called as long term depression which occurs at the level of uh, synapses then gray matter neuroplasticity change in a size and density of gray matter in the brain uh, it is responsible for improvement in cognitive functions such as memory and attention for example uh, a study found that individuals who practice meditation technique for 8 weeks had increased gray matter density in hippocampus uh, a brain region responsible for memory and learning thus in gray matter uh, neuroplasticity there can be synaptogenesis angiogenesis gliagenesis neuronal genesis increase in the size of the cells or increase in the interstitial fluids or bl and blood flow then white matter neuroplasticity in which the structure or function of white matters uh, changes and it is responsible for improvement in motor functions and coordination for example Uh, individual who practices simple finger tapping exercise for 4 weeks have increased white matter integrity in the corpus callosum a, a region in the brain that connects the two hemispheres thus in white matter uh, neuroplasticity large scale axonal remodeling occurs then concept of neuroplasticity include short terms plasticity in which neuronal facilitations and depressions uh, in response to sensory stimuli uh, it is a rapid lasting to uh, milliseconds to minute example rapid neuronal stimulations uh, then there is a hibbs theory in uh, he was a canadian scientist who has studied the role of plasticity in the rabbit hippocampus and it's important in learning and memory the hibbs theory uh, is of transmission efficacy plasticity and uh, long term potentiation and depressions uh, this will be discussed in the subsequent slides neuronal neuroplasticity in physiology uh, occurs at the level of neuronal development plasticity neuroplasticity in adult at the level of cellular mechanisms behaviors and memory synaptic plasticity receptors in plasticity at the level of molecular levels uh, and then plasticity in neuronal sig signaling and transcription and translation regulations and uh, plasticity at the level of genes uh, it was the experiment uh, which was done uh, 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 done to demonstrate uh, that the left side of the prefrontal cortex Uh, is responsible for happiness and the right side of the prefrontal cortex uh, is responsible for negative mood the monks uh, monk uh, uh, in the two monks monks and uh, students in the monks uh, the activity in the left prefrontal cortex was uh, uh, more uh, and uh, 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 with the proper training and uh, with the meditations and this was responsible for his happiness whereas in a students there was no difference in the right and left prefrontal cortex then neurodevelopmental plasticity at birth each neurons in the cerebral cortex have, has a prox to 50 synapses by the time and uh, in fact 2 to 3 years of old is the number of synapses uh, increases up to 15000 per neurons twice at that of uh, adults and as we uh, ages the old connections are deleted through process called synaptic pruning or neuronal dwarfism gradual pruning uh, of unnecessary auditory and visual connections and development of uh, cortices with training called musical training and sensory cortices in the uh, readers here we can see at the earlier age these sensory uh, pathways are more developed that is vision and hearing this gradually decreases and then followed by language development and as we uh, add with the age the higher cognitive functions are more developed and these are elements then memory and behavior uh, there was hypothesis that memory are stored uh, uh, are 
as an alternate to a strength of synaptic connections between the neurons in mammalian CNA, CNS referred to as synaptic plasticity. Cerebellar connections in eye blinking response uh, demonizes synaptic strength shows that long lasting decrease in the synaptic strength can serve as a driver for behavioral changes as in the frontotemporal dementia and amygdala has also been implicated in uh, fear response and in uh, learning fear. Here we can see axonal sprouting uh, in which the axons are uh, formed. Uh, then glial changes, gliagenesis, uh, glial plasticity ma uh, ma at the level of macroglia, uh, neuronal neurogenesis and angiogenesis, which are responsible for neuroplasticity at the level of cellular at the cellular levels. And this is the changes in the oligodendrocytes, angiogenesis, astro astrocyte changes, myelin formations. These help in the uh, white matters neuroplasticity. Whereas the axonal splitting, neurogenesis and uh, uh, glial changes help uh, are responsible for gray matter plasticity. Then uh, the receptors in plasticity uh, can be explained with NMDA receptors. Here, in this case, uh, uh, glutamate uh, plus depolarizing membranes are capable of co uh, coincident detections such as parvarian associated condi conditions and multimodal sensory integrations. And uh, here, uh, with the back uh, back propagating action potentials, control the depolarization develops of de uh, in, uh, depolarizations of the post synaptic membranes uh, via regulating NMDA getting uh, and uh, triggered long term potentiations. And uh, here we can see that the continuous stimulations of the um, uh, this ad, uh, earlier uh, uh, earlier. Uh, lead to increase in the development of the uh, receptors at the level of uh, neuro uh, at the level of synapses with uh, long term uh, continuous stimulations lead to increased receptors as well as recycles that is called as long term potentiation with the repeated signal trans uh, stimulations then uh, molecular basis of plasticity uh, at the level of membrane ion channels, NMDA, calcium channels and potassium channels, cell surface receptors and signaling uh, signal transductions, signaling cascades involving proteins, uh, post-translational modifications like phosphorylation and uh, second messenger RNA like cyclic AMP, then uh, uh, neurotransmitters like, like noradrenaline in locus cerebellus, nucleus uh, and, and Acuminus and amygdala increases the general level of excitability. Dopamine releasing neurons in the ventral tegmental area and substantia nigra are highly specific plasticity enablers and uh, brain derived neurotropic factors are required for long term potentiation in hippocampal CA synapses. Here uh, this, uh, this figure uh, uh, explains the neuroplasticity at the level of at the molecular level. Here we can see uh, that uh, uh, at the molecular level, different genes which lead to transmission of uh, which leads to formations of uh, uh, pro and anti-inflammatory cytokines, which uh, is responsible for uh, neuro neurotoxicity, tissue damages, uh, and uh, with the uh, either decrease or increase functional recovery, which is responsible for neuro uh, neuroplasticity. The epigenetic and behavioral plasticity, DNA methylation and uh, change in the chromatin structures are capable of self uh, regenerations and self perpetuations. Example, maternal effects on the subsequent behaviors of offspring, associated fear conditioning, and uh, extinction of learned fears and other memories, other form of memories, hippocampal dependent, a uh, spinal, a uh, spatial memory formations, uh, reward conditioning, drug addictions, and cognitive and uh, others uh, changes in the or uh, other changes. Uh, here we can see at the level of uh, genes level, uh, these changes at the level of genes uh, with the DNA methylation and histone modifications will uh, alter the uh, uh, synapses and which will be responsible for neuroplasticity. 
then gut brain connections and neuroplasticity here uh, dysbiosis or eubiosis will uh, alter the immune responses with the anti-inflammatory or pro-inflammatory cytokines being altered which will activate the microglia in the CNS and uh, will be responsible for neuroplasticity. Then plasticity in pathogenesis of CNS and uh, PNS like valerian uh, uh, degenerations, synesthesia, panthon slings, focal hand dystonia, brain injuries and dementia, psychiatric illness and therapeutics like uh, valerian degenerations, axonal pruning in the form of both neuronal and astroglial plasticity needs to generate precise connectivity. In a stroke, tumors and demyelinations, uh, it is required to remove the axons connections damaged in the adult to stabilize the affected neuronal circuits and to initiate their repair. Plasticity ensures useful functions are preserved, example enlargement of motor hands area post stroke language preservation. Here we can see uh, the uh, uh, pruning and neuromodulation uh, with the caspases and uh, uh, at the level of these uh, VGCC in cerebellar circuits. Uh, these are the uh, with uh, dendritic pruning and uh, 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 at the level of uh, in the cerebellum uh, in the cerebellum with the, at the level of Purkinje cells. The synesthesia and panthon slim, uh, panthon slim in which increased plasticity is implicated in development of uh, synesthesia. Uh, in amputated patient, panthon slim sensation is possible with the help of mirror and cortical maps of the removed limbs are believed to have become engaged with the area around them with the post central gyrus, central uh, sensory cortex. Here in the panther slim at the level of CNS, uh, the changes include unmasking, sprouting, general disinhibitions, map remodeling, where at the level peripheral level, uh, uh, structural changes in the axons and neurons, uh, sympathetic afferent couplings, uh, don, uh, don and up regulations of neurotransmitters and selective loss of unmyelinated fiber. Here, uh, for the panther slim, we have the mirror visual feedback uh, to, uh, to lessen the pain in which sensory input from the skin invaders and activates the differentiated hand zones in the cortex and thalamus. If panther's arms are paralyzed in painful position, a mirror is uh, placed vertically in the sagittal plane and patient looks at the reflection of his own normal hands and this reflection appears superimposed on the left position of the panthum. If the real arm is moved, the panthum is failed to move as well and this sometimes relieves the painful cramps of the panthum. That if these hands will move, the mirror reflection will also move, patient will uh, perceive as if his normal uh, hands, uh, normal limbs are moving and this will release the pain. Then focal hand dystonia, uh, in this case also neuronal plasticity, uh, can, uh, mechanism of neuronal plasticity is there in which abnormal cortical sensory, uh, sensory representation interferes with the motor control, abnormal motor con control strengthen the sensory abnormalities and positive feedback loop reinforces the dystonic conditions. That is impaired intracortical inhibitions have abnormal cortical activations during movement with affected muscles and regional cerebral blood flow correlate with the severity of symptoms. Here, uh, it, uh, the, from sensory cause passes to the motor cortex and from motor to the somatosensory cortex uh, and this positive feedback loops is responsible for dystonia. Then injury related plasticity changes occur in a human brain for following injuries as three phases immediately after injuries uh, like cell deaths occur along with decrease in the cortical inhibitory pathway for one to two days and that is thought to recruit or unmask new and secondly neuronal networks activity of cortical pathway shifts from inhibitory to excitatory followed by neuronal proliferation and synaptogenesis. Weeks for after injury, new synaptic markers and axonal sproutings are upregulated. 
एलॉय को रीमॉडलिंग एंड क्वार्टिकल चेंजेस को रिकवरी एंड डिजरेटिव डिजीजेज लाइक डिजरेटिव डिमेंसिया एंड पार्किस इन दिस केस न्यूरो प्लास्टिसिटी इज ऑल्सो मैकेजम इन विच इम्पेयर सनेप्टिक प्लास्टिसिटी मे बी बेसिक सेलुलर मैकेजम मेडिएटिंग प्रोग्रेसिव कॉगनेटिव एंड मोटर डिफिसिट्स ऑब्जर्व इन अल्जाइमस एंड पार्किसन पेशेंट इन अल्जाइमस एमलॉयड प्रिकर्सर प्रोटीन्स Uh, uh, proteins are having found to display impaired in vitro and in vivo long term potentiation in hippocampus which correlate with a spatial memory deficits and in parkinson's disease uh, the model in rat uh, with a striatal long term potentiation and uh, long term difference uh, depressions were found to be aberrant where the whereas chronic treatment with the dopamine precursor like l dopa restores the deficit in astrital synaptic plasticity here we can see uh, that in frontotemporal dementia it neurofibrillary triangles alzheimer's disease um, allied proteins mm, they lead to uh, synaptic plasticity changes uh, and uh, uh, which uh, which will lead to dementia in other like uh, Uh, DLBs and Parkinson's disease. Psychiatric illness and plasticity uh, in this thought and uh, and its di uh, disorders can alter the neuronal connections and a structural changes in the limbic system may be related to major depressions. And uh, here the Duman do suggested that major depression and other affected disorders could result in loss of neuroplasticity. Chronic stresses lead to deficits in hippocampus dependent memory issues uh, as seen in major depressions and cognitive behavioral therapy uh, uh, as in ocds it's uh, over uh, muted over activity in frontal cortex and raises activity in the hippocampal and limbic system which will reduce uh, which will uh, increase uh, which will uh, help in the neuronal plasticity then in therapeutics Uh, Donafazil is able to induce gamma oscillations in CA3 region of the hippocampus in the uh, in experimental model and contribute to procognitive effects like mementoed in NMDA receptors uh, are continuously uh, albeit partially activated resulting in impairment in synaptic plasticity like sodium channel blockers like lamotrigines are prescribed for certain cases of epilepsy and also so improvement in the recognition naming and depression as in the patients with alzheimers here uh, repetitive uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation and plasticity uh, in this case uh, this uh, uh, by rtms uh, which modulate nmda receptors and uh, metabotropic glutamate receptors dependent uh, synaptic plasticity uh, it helps by enhancing the release of different neurotransmitters like glutamate and gaba and modulate glial activity promotes neurotropic signaling at like brain derived neurotropic factor promoting calcium mediated signaling thereby influences synaptic transmissions in the distal regions of the brain and in dbs uh, uh, the neuronal plasticity is also responsible uh, which uh, lessen uh, the cognitive symptoms in the uh, symptoms in the patient with parkinson's disease DB, uh, dbs exerts dopaminergic neuro protections in animal models with disease modifying effects rodent studies have shown that increase in the cholinergic neurotransmitters hippocampal neurogenesis synaptic plasticity and reduction in beta amyloid plaques with uh, deep brain stimulation uh, dbs has a lasting effects on neurotransmitter connections functions dynamics and glial activity thereby alters the micro environments of the brain and in and influences neuroplasticity here we can see uh, that uh, dbs uh, uh, by dbs this leads to uh, increase in the uh, uh, at the level of uh, uh, these affects blood brain barrier micro environments of the non uh, neuronal cells are also uh, uh, affected and releases neurotransmitters Uh, um, uh, with the excitations of uh, 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 excitatory and inhibitory uh, neurons 
and thereby alters the neuronal involvement. Thank you.